Researchers from Harvard University believe that they found the fountain of youth. Mm. It is a compound that they injected into rats, and they found that that compound made them reverse in age in as little as a week, which is fascinating. So they're hoping that they can do human trials on this compound uh, next year, but they believe that it'll take years for this to ever really turn into something that humans can use because it's so expensive. So uh, let me give you an example of what they did. They used two-year-old mice and they were given a compound over a week, moving back the key indicators of aging to that of a six-month-old mouse. Researchers said that this was the equivalent of making a 60-year-old person feel like a 20-year-old. Okay, yeah. so what happens as you get older is um, uh, in your cells, the mitochondria stops communicating, or the communication breaks down between the mitochondria and the nucleus, right? I'm right now. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so see it live. super yeah. interesting. So it turns out that this compound helps keep that communication intact, so the aging process not only slows down, not only stops, but could actually reverse. Yeah. All Fascinating. Right. Yeah, I'm here's, with this here's who's not going to be the first person that to try that. Me, okay. <laughs> no way that works well in the beginning. No, they're yeah. like they're, they're going to lose like seven dudes before they get that right. <laughs> they're yeah. like, yeah, we we reverse it a little too much. Uh, he's now a six month old baby, and <laughs> so bit of an issue, okay. So they're gonna. I'm gonna ask them to get that. By the time they get that right, I might be sixty. And then I could reverse back to and being look, 20. They're not looking for a Benjamin Button mm -hmm. answer to aging, right? Mm -hmm. What they're really looking for is a way to prevent diseases like cancer, diabetes, dementia. So this, this has some significant impact on the human population if they can actually translate it from what they're seeing in mice to humans. I'm excited about it because I would love something that would stop the aging process. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the most amazing thing on the planet. I still don't get this. Uh, is yeah. are, are you going to be like and like anti aging? How yeah, like are you like I'm assuming only in your mind, right? I mean, they're not talking about physical. You, well, th they're talking about your muscles. So your muscles will stop from the aging process. So let me give you some more information. So the researchers injected a chemical, it's called NAD, I'm not gonna give you the long name because I will butcher it, which reduce, uh, reduces in the body as we age. The addition of this compound led to the radical reversal of the aging in the mice, right? So the aging process was, uh, we discovered, is like a married couple. When they are young, they communicate well. He's talking about the nucleus and the mitochondria. But over time, living in close quarters for many years, communication breaks down. And just like a couple, restoring communication solved the problem. Um, so Here's who doesn't have a great marriage, David Sinclair. He's <laughs> 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 like, you know, just like a marriage. Yeah. Nag, nag, yeah. nag with the mitochondria. Okay, I know, I didn't take out the garbage. Sometimes Can you just stop listening. <laughs> But now we're going to get them fucking. <laughs> right. Uh, well, look, it sounds promising. It's amazing uh, what science is doing. Uh, but, but, like, I just don't know what, how it would actually, it, you know, show itself in a human being. Are you going to be faster? You know, I, you know what I'm it's, saying? It's like the opposite of what happens with your balls, right? Because my you balls. You're going to pick them back up? My balls are, like, way older than I am. You know, uh -huh. and it's been that way my whole life. I was 10, they were like 50 already, you know, and now mm. they look like they need a walker. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why if you die in a fiery crash, they use your dental charts and not your scrotum, because they'd be way off. <laughs> they'd be like, yeah, we found him, he's like 180. <laughs> he's wearing a Cubs hat, but he's from the Ming Dynasty. How did that happen? <laughs>